Hey everybody, this is Scripter, and we are playing Sky Factory 4 with Scott, who promised to not be creepy today, and as you can see, it's totally not working. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have a look around. As we said, we promised, and we did some remodeling, which you can clearly see from up here already, so let's go down. Let's give him a hop back. That's a good idea. So, you've already noticed that this building has been extended a while ago, so we now have some upper floors. And a down floor, which I get to in a second. Hmm. So, first floor, <laughs> we have a sound muffler with all the sounds. Currently just the cat, because the cat is annoying. Yes. <laughs> we also have our cakes up here, so when we travel to other dimensions, that's what we use. This thing, informative statues from the statues mod, gives you interesting advice. Luck is not on your side today, I guess. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> And then up here we just sit and relax and watch over our base. It's quite lovely. Uh, downstairs, we have a whole new storage system. So we have expanded quite a bit. We have double the amount of filing cabinets now. And as you can see, the open ones are the empty ones. The closed ones are all full. Yes, it's actually sorted to a degree. So these are all the ingots over here. More ingots, and there's all the essence, and then we have all the wood, and I'm stuck in the drawer, it seems. There's all the acorns up here, and then uh, we probably have saplings, and resin, and leaves, and ugh. Yeah, that took a while. We also lost a bunch of folders due to um, unforeseen circumstances, so I had to recreate a couple of them. Which means we, we lost like 20,000 emeralds or so. Well, who cares? We get them for free. I stuck the cobblestone generator tier 5 underneath this drawer, and as you can see, we now have nearly 3 million cobblestone in that one. It's going up quite nicely. Never gonna use it, but hey, it's there, right? So let's have a look at that from the outside before we get to the rest. If I can ever engage flight mode. Well, thank you. So here's all the Applied Energy 6 cabling with the uh, storage buses. Yep, it's nothing to it. Nothing we really need to do other than attach them. Some lights, some new blocks. These are the end type blocks. They look like they give off light. They don't, but they still look pretty cool. I like them. No texture whatsoever. Uh, connected texture, so <laughs> if it's just a big square of black blocks, it's just, you know, it's void. <laughs> pretty much. And we have our inner chests over here with import buses. They are all speed upgraded. We have the uh, loot fabricators over here for. Uh, that is currently just doing regular essence, and this one is doing nether stars, mm -hmm. together with the uncrafting grinder for the cobalt and the ardite sapling. And then I made a shipping container, which can hold these uh, metal crates. You can also put wooden crates in here, but hey, you have metal, right? That's all the ender parts, uh, parts in there. They don't want to go into a folder, so I did it this way. It works. It's quite nice. You just, you know, slap your storage connector up there. It's good. Uh, our trash can is over here. That big thing, the cabinet goes directly into that trash void and that was realized by using a storage bus because if you use an export bus you only get a certain amount of items you can stuck in here but a storage bus has a big old fit if you put all the capacity cards in there and you can even put a fuzzy card in there which means if you have something like a damaged shovel it doesn't care about the damage level which is quite nice so all the iron shovels we get from the from the mob farm they are all just voided and that works quite nicely mm. what does that Look at that, Direwolf 20's hat is in here. Sucks to be you. You can void it. <laughs> ah, well, what can you do, right? It's my playlist. Um, yeah, well, that's that. Uh, there's not much more to it. The rest we can see from the inside. So in here, we made some room, we made a new floor because that was just more fitting. Also, it's not as fast to run around when you don't have a concrete floor because I'm just too fast for this world. A uh, lot of ME drives. They are all 64K, so we have loads of room on there. Most of them are empty right now. It's pretty good. So I moved all of that up here. It was downstairs last episode, right? And then we emptied out most of the stuff that was in here and gave all the things a new home. Some stuff is still here for manual things, like if you want to repair stuff or if you want to um, simulate a new mob, we still have that here. We also have a fridge. Nice sound. And then all the, the manual crafting machines you want, so the alloy furnace, uh, manufactory, smeltery, crusher, uh, combiner, all of those are here. They don't have any input set or anything, they are just, you know, drop stuff in there and collect it back like, afterwards. They have the elite upgrade, the second highest upgrade, so you can see how many slots are in here, it's amazing. Mm, yeah, that's really good, and really fast. That's for sure. Uh, our main energy cell is over here, with all the stuff. We have our infinite uh, spring water source via ender tank, the same for the lava. 
I made the solidifier and stuck an export underneath it that's exporting this recipe. Four sticks makes obsidian. Most interesting recipe ever. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that, but it's the cheapest way to make automated obsidian, so why not? We also have the hydrator, which is the opposite of that thing. Uh, you can put a stuff, bunch of stuff in here to make, I don't know, lily pads and things like that. And then we made this, the door factory. Now this is a beast in its own right. So you can select, I want my door to rotate, and then opening time is six ticks, I guess, auto close delay. So when you step through, after what time does it close? Uh, does it actually have a delay? Uh, is it a double door or a single door? Does it do player detection? So does it open automatically? Does it react to redstone? And in what way does it have a sound? And then you go on the second tab, you put your materials in here for the frame, for the top and for the bottom block. And then you just say create door. And the result is uh, something like this over here. Yeah, that's quite nice, right? We have one more over here, actually. We have Scott built a big old farm. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. It's pretty cheap. It's three blocks you need to make a whole door. Just, you know, any kind of block, really. You can use a diamond block if you want to. Uh, this one over here, I used the, the fence post that Scott used for the farm to make the frame. And then it's basically just that, that wood block up here. The red stained wooden planks upper door frame thing. Yes. And the, uh, the, the, fin the, the, the windows. These. Red planks, wooden paper window stuff. And that makes that door. So yeah, it's nice and fitting, I think. Alright, but that's the inside. That's all the stuff you have seen at some stage. Or you haven't seen yet, but it's not that important. Over here is our new bonsai farm. Looks like the old one, just, you know, a little more modern. Uh, down here we have chest slabs, where everything goes into. And then we have our necessities farm for the wheat and the sugarcane and all that stuff. You know, we, we do need paper and things. So that is quite nice. Uh, we can still go downstairs, if ever, to our little piggies. And we made new pipes up here. We, we need this to be faster, because the standard pipes we've been using weren't fast enough. So what I did make... Uh, were these up here, the Impulse Item Ducts. They do need a bunch of stuff, but it's not that hard really. It needs an Item Duct, which is just tin, ingot, and hardened glass, which is molten nickel, for example, if you use hardened nickel glass, or whatever. It's not really that uh, difficult to make. Not really. And once you have that, you have pretty fast piping, and all you need is a retriever down here that basically tells all the other inventories, give me your stuff, and this one is the fastest one you can make. Takes a stack per per tick, I guess, per drawing items, and then you can set this to round robin, so it puts from every inventory uh, in a row, and not just the closest one or the furthest one away and stuff, so we make sure that we actually empty things. And the good, the good, the really good, the really, really good stuff is you can see items, look at that. It does look pretty mm -hmm. hypnotizing, I'd almost say. <laughs> Have on both sides. Yeah, it's really cool. So this takes care of all of this, including our little farmer up there. Is that a farmer? That is a farmer, right? Harvester? Yeah, that thing. Um, yeah, it's empty. It's nothing in there. So this is working quite nicely. Lovely. Uh, the mob farm is still the mob farm. Nothing changed over here. This is going to be our project platform from now on, where we actually try things. This over here is going to be Astro Sorcery someday, probably. Mm -hmm. Over there is our starter farm, or <laughs> starter platform, which has now been turned into a farm and some other things. Right, Scott? Yep, that's mm -hmm. where I've been playing around. Yep. And then this is the big farm you've been doing, which is basically the same we already have. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's harvesters, and then they go into ender chests, which I emptied out all the way over there in our storage. Uh, with some crops we haven't had yet, like onions and tomato and lettuce and things. Including those we already have. So we have a bunch. Which is always mm -hmm. good. Uh, then over where? Oh, I just was here. <laughs> over here we have a new platform. That's a nice sign, by the way. Chinese workshop sign with a sign that doesn't tell me anything. We yeah. have the big old Tinker Smeltery here. So we upgraded from the tiny one to the big one. Not much more to it. Same principle, really. It's a multi-block structure. And I've gone over these in other mod packs, so I'm not going to explain it since we don't really need it at this point. I just wanted to have it here. All the other stuff we had in our little apartment over there is now here. Drying racks, 
uh, the, the chess manufacturer and the market, and, you know, you, you see all this stuff, right? You've seen all of these at some point. Um, these cauldrons are now just doing lava, because we don't need them for power anymore. I mean, our black hole is doing its thing. Uh, I did use this meldery for a little alloying. Let's see what's in here. Resonant Ender, Molten Lead, Molten Platinum. Okay, sure. What did I do? Enderium, I think. Yeah, still two ingots in here, actually. So yeah, it's, it's working quite nicely. And yes, I'm rushing through this a little bit, because we have more things to do, right? It's not a base tour. Lastly, this thing, the lab. Big old doors, yes. So this is where I have almost automated the manufacturing of processors. Uh, you've seen this last episode, we've made these inscribers, right? So now I stuck an interface to the front face of an inscriber and put in a pattern that says one silicon makes one printed silicon. So it will take a silicon, put it in here, and since the press is already there, it just puts the silicon in here in the front um, slot, and then we get a printed silicon out of it, which is taken out at the back via import bus. These are a little more complicated, but not that much more. I mean, you know the recipe, you've seen it, right? The press is in there, and then it just needs a gold ingot to make the printed circuit, and this over here is the nether quartz and the diamond. And then we have the big beast, which is this one, that already has all the printed silicon and redstone. You just need to put the unfinished circuits in there to make the processor. Now, to do this, I just put a filter on the export bus saying you always want to have redstone, since you can only put one in there. It's not really much of a loss. I also made this, this facade, which is really just the brick, or the, the block that you had here, plus some cable anchors, and that makes a facade. You put that down, and then you can put down the cable, and it basically looks like it goes through the floor. So you don't have a big hole there. Same at the back. Yeah. And that's, that's it. There should be one more exporter down below, which is giving it the printed silicon. So whenever we have some in the system, it will make sure of that. And that's pretty much that. Uh, you can put some upgrades in here, which are quite interesting to have. Uh, where, 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 where? It's not one below. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> is this one below, ME interface. And I tell this with a crafting card that I want to make printed silicon in here. It always has a printed silicon in here, and since it's an interface, it will put this printed silicon into uh, the inscriber whenever it can. And that means this will be gone, and if we don't have any, it will make one and put it in here, waiting to be used. It's quite neat. The actual pattern for that is obviously over here in this one, because this is where the printed silicon is made. Yeah, crafting upgrades. They're great. They only work when you actually have crafting CPUs, and we get to that in an episode or two when we get into the auto-crafting. I still would have some other stuff done. Look at that guy behind bars. <laughs> this this looks like a cellar, right? This is a cellar window like you would expect one. Yeah. I love this look. This is absolutely awesome. Okay, then we have all the mechanism machines down here. They are all upgraded. This is the little straight we had before. The injecting factory, the purifying factory, the infusing factory, all of them. And they work the same as the inscribers upstairs. So we have import from the left side with all the acceleration cards. There's nothing in there yet, but we can put... Um, stuff in here and say, you know what, make this automatically. Just put this in here and then it will do its crafting and it will export from the side. That's quite nice. So over here, for example, we tell this to always put compressed carbon in there, as it does, to keep that happy. And then over here, we can put in the recipes for making things that needs that carbon. Yep, that's how that works. So we will have enriching and compressing and smelting and all that stuff over here. We say, take the ember and put it over here and then run through a whole process. And it will do it automatically whenever we have acorns and ember and all this stuff. Then we have our packages over here. It's the same setup. So they have the, um, the interfaces in the back. I actually made the recipes here. One block of redstone is nine redstone acorn and it has a crafting card. So whenever it finds nine acorn, it will put them in here, ready to be put into the packager. The packager knows what to do with them. And then we take them out via import bus and um, that completes the recipe. I hope that works. <laughs> I might have to break the cable attaches down there so they don't go straight back into the system, but actually into one of these interfaces. I don't know yet. We have to see. We have to see with all the changes they made to AE in this mod pack, if it works or it doesn't. I have to dampen the sound of this, though. Anyway, that's as far as we went setting everything up. It's really nothing you haven't seen yet, except for putting it together for auto-crafting preparations and making it look pretty. Yeah, pretty much.
Right, so what are we going to do today? We're going to close out some of these quests because uh, at some stage we need to go through the advancement and just do stuff. We've done the first page ages ago. It feels like episode 3 and we're in 12. Um, we can probably do the second page, Age of Advancement, just make some of these upgrades and casts and stuff. That should be no problem. But we do want to start with this. We want to make the other cakes. Uh, we might even kill the wither, we don't know. So we want to go to the twilight, to the end, and to the hunting dimension. Let's start with that. Let's see if we can do that. We probably don't have any cake though, because we're voiding all of them. <laughs> ah. Hunting. Let's start with that one. Hunting dimension cake. Do we have any cakes? No, we don't. And we also need some stone swords. Okay, so let's start with those. Let's make some stone swords. Uh. Uh, that should be more than enough. What else? Arrows, no problem. Cake. Uh, do we have that in the system? Almost, except for the milk. Well, that, that can be helped. Where's my bucket? They are full. Give me an empty bucket. Bouquet. There's one with milk that it doesn't want to use. And this is one of those recipes that doesn't recognize all the lovely buckets. So... Don't fall into the void, dang it. Let's come over here real quick. You won't die, you're just going in an endless loop. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's one of the things I like about you, I'm always seeing the positive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, putting that in there, get a cake, make a hunting dimension cake, please, uh, thank you, give me an advancement. It doesn't because we haven't gone yet. Alright, put that back into the system. Let's go upstairs. And that's there. Yeah. Put it here. So, ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> this might take a second because we haven't been there yet. There you go. Ugh. You look so small. That's because you're leveled down. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, how do you like the hunting dimension so far? Awesome. This is perfect if you want to set up something laggy because there's nothing here other than black holes. Yeah, I had a look in creative and I flew like 10,000 blocks in every direction. There's nothing here. This is just wow. empty. I don't even know why this would be a thing. I mean, it's all forest. Maybe it's because of creatures that spawn here if you give them a spawn platform. I don't know. It's nothing that we need as far as I can see. So, this was awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy we did that. It's a little disappointing. Yeah, it's kinda, right? Let's go to another one. Right, we're gonna make the other cakes real quick. Let's have a look at the recipes. I mean, we need to get the milk and stuff, and you know how it works, right? So, cake. What else is there? End cake. That's easy, right? So, no worries about that. And then there is the Twilight Forest, which is just some, some flowers, really. There's nothing to it. All right, be right back. And done. Here are the cakes. End portal cake over there, and Twilight Forest here. We're gonna start with this one. Because it's gonna be so exciting. <laughs> if you've seen the Lost Cities. <laughs> You've seen this. Oh wow. Noise. What is that? It may hurt over here. Depends. Never know, we might be in an area we shouldn't be. Like over there is the the, the tower thing. Ow, what? Okay. Uh over here's the maze. It's nice, Amazing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> What do you spawn over here? Oh, yes, uh, do that. If you think that's funny. Oh, I can fly, you know. Oh, there's nothing in there. Nothing that's important anyway. Um, so yeah, Twilight Forest, everybody. Uh, I should probably mark the portal location. At least this is something we might come back to at some point. Be a good idea. And put down the cake. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. It's okay. How are you taking damage and I'm not? I'm not taking damage. I'm an android. Don't know. Let's go around. Freaking wizard tower. We might do this for fun at some point. But other than that, it's really it's it's aligned in the grid as far as I've seen in creative. Here's the next biome thing. Uh, that's the the Yeti cave, I think. The well, Alpha Yeti. I'll be taking damage. Yeah. See? Being an android? Mm hmm. Don't care about it. Little bird! Okay. A lot of stuff over here. 
Uh, if we go any further, we should get the next thing. There you go. There's one of these mounds, so if you dig down here, you should get a lot of resources. There should be a bunch of ores in here. Mm, you know what? Being an android, not being hungry. Um, yeah, let's lose the unbreakable pickaxe and um, dig a little bit. So how would this look like without stone? What do you think? It might lag a bit. Wait, no, I can't get over there. <laughs> uh, stuff is falling down. Okay, let's, let's stop the vein mining. Look at you. Who are you? You're dead. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, there's all the ores over here. We have uranium and rock crystal ore, which actually is something that we want for astral sorcery. Well, thank you very much. So that's one reason to come back here. We now know where to find it. Awesome. Uh, do I need to mark this? No, they're everywhere. They are literally everywhere. See, there's the next one. Alright. Well, never mind. I'm going back home. Yeah, I can't uh, land anywhere. Home. Back home. <laughs> well, wow. yeah. You know, uh, become an android. Be done with it. Hi. Put that away real quick. Well, technically, I want to put that in the folder if I can. No, I cannot. Okay, so that's. I could make a crate for this, but I do think we have enough discs to just be done with it. Right, are you doing your thing? Yeah, that's perfect. We need that a little bit later. So we're gonna come back to that. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's head to the end. It's the end, my friend. That joke has been done to death. Very fitting. And here's the next achievement. Where's the boss? See, that thing knows me. Yeah, okay. I didn't think that would be a reaction. <laughs> mm. Got some endstone, which is exactly what I wanted. That's perfect. Uh, one of the traits of this pickaxe, since we're using a... What is it? Supremium pickaxe head, which gives us prosperous, is that whenever you mine, you get prosperity shards for free. Once in a while. Or you, resonant endstone. That's fun when you break it. Not when you have a silk touch pick, otherwise you would get resonant ender flowing. Yeah, flowing. Not floating, flowing around there. As you can see, no dragon. Did you bring a torch by any chance? Yep. Awesome. Well, then get the egg. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, real quick, is fly around and find ourselves an elytra. Because, you know, that's just... It's flying around. What? What do you want? That doesn't really hurt him. Obviously, because it's a ranged weapon, but then again, I do have my trusty sword. Might as well. Does this thing actually work, I wonder? Which I recently repaired. Quite nicely, actually. He <laughs> sets him on fire. Hey, die. I need your pearl. Didn't even drop a pearl. Ha! Huh. And back we are, and as you can see in my hands, Elytra. Lovely. So let's put that in the system. Also got some other stuff while we were there. Why not, right? Alright, all in there. So, let's look at the list what's next to do. Craft a Dragon's Breath, exterminate the Wither, and craft a compact machine. This is um, quite a thing in its own right, but it's relatively easy to set up. So, let's start with the Dragon's Breath. There you go. That needs liquid chorus bucket, extraterrestrial matter, fire charge, end crystal, and a glass bottle. We should have most of that. Let's see what we can what we can do here. Not much. Okay, let's start with the basics. End crystal. Do we have gas tears? No. Is there any other way to obtain end crystals? Uh, pristine enderman matter from deep mob learning. Or, if we wanted to craft those, we could as well just grab the gas tier, which we can get from pristine gas matter, or spider eye sugar and hellish matter. Now, hellish matter we've been getting, right here. Not a lot, but it's okay. So that's something. 
Uh, then we do need this one extraterrestrial matter. Which that we can do. No problem. There we go. The truth is out there. Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, we need four gas tiers. There's three. And if I do this, then we get some more. Lovely. So then we can do this. One, two. Should probably put those in there. That helps. Two, three, four. So now all that's missing is those two buckets which I have in my hotbar. Won't you believe it? And the stuff is right here. Hmm, how do you make that? It's pretty easy. You make yourself a squeezer or the mechanical squeezer. This gives you more secondary output. And then you, as you can see here, I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. So you actually need to look that up. Uh, chorus in its pure liquid form right here. Squeezer or mechanical squeezer. Pop chorus fruit gives you 125 millibuckets or an eighth so you need eight per bucket so that's 16 you can do the math i just did it for you it doesn't matter let me do this and we do that and that should work Ta -da! need a mint not really but thank you for asking no, that's cool so that's closed out that just leaves these two let's spawn the wither why wouldn't we do we have wither skeleton hats we don't that's weird i thought we would nope. have them Nope. That might be one of the folders that got lost because we had like six stacks. Uh, we could make some if ugh, this thing doesn't void it. There's some more cakes. Yeah, for some reason this started voiding stuff that I didn't put in there, like skeleton skull, creeper hat, zombie hat. Yeah, they they were never part of the setup. We see even the dragon's hat went in there. Is there a dragon hat anywhere in the setup? No, it isn't. So it must be that these are kind of all the same for the storage system. It's a bit weird. So for right now, I have that kind of switched off. Yeah, but there's no wither skeleton skull in here, and obviously our spawners over in the mob farm don't do that. That's one of the other things you want to get into: change the skeleton spawner into a wither skeleton spawner. Um, you know what, let's, let's do that now, because that's another way to get those skulls. So, what do you need to do? I said last time I don't know, and I figured it out because I was going through the mod list. You need this, the mob swap, which looks exactly what you think it looks like. So, let's get one of these. I'm going to go to the nether real quick and find me one of those. Where are you? Right here. I'm going to poke it with it, and then I'm going to flee, because I'm a wuss. Stop shooting me. Oh, hey, you. Come here. Does that work? No. I probably have to right click. Anyway. There's more around here. It's not like we're running out of them anytime soon. Would you please not run away? There you go. Got it. Which means we can go back home. So, let's do that. Let's hope. There. Hmm. So now what we need to do is craft ourselves these GM chicken feed. If you have no idea how to do it and where to get this information from, it's actually in here. It's down here. Swap the deck, use on any mob to swap their DNA. Then craft a chicken feed from seeds, a swap with DNA, and a bucket of experience. Okay, let's see if we can do that. I need a bucket. I need to see if I can get this out of the experience pylon using this bucket, or if I have to do some... Come here, if I have to do some crazy shenanigans. Where's our mob farm? Right here. Can I do this? Oh yes, I can! Look at that! Now we just need a seed. Which we have 131,000. That's perfect. So, put that in here, put that in here, and I hope this is shapeless. It is. That makes chicken feed! Minecraft with a skeleton DNA. Lovely. So that, I think we right click on chicken, because it's a chicken feed. Um, so no chickens anywhere? Running free? You have all kinds of stuff here, but no chickens. There's rabbits, though. Well, I guess we have some eggs somewhere. Might as well. There are ways to breed chickens in here. There's a chicken nest and all that, but ugh. There's six eggs. What could possibly go wrong? Well, this. 
Right, well, it looks like the market is selling chicken eggs for seeds in a one-to-one -one ratio. Since we have 130,000 seeds, we weren't likely to run out of any chickens anytime soon. And then you can feed them seeds, as you can see in the top left there, growing cooldown. It's about 20 minutes when you spawn them in. And a stack of seeds later, it's like four seconds. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Don't know if they have to be grown, but, you know, just to be sure. Yeah, have some chicken feed. Boop! Happy birthday, Dark Osto. Including music. Yeah. Fitting for a mob dev. Uh, mob dev? Yeah, for mob dev. That's what we call them now. It's a mob dev. So now we have a spawn with a skeleton egg. And with that, we can finally change the type of spawner if we so desire, which we do. Um, this is going to be interesting. I'm going in. I mean, it doesn't stop them from spawning, <laughs> because I've set them all to basically ignore if we're here. Well, there goes that glass. Yeah, it should be in the system, right? Hope. So, which one is which? Uh, spider, zombie... That is the blaze, so the skeleton should be over here. Yes. Yep. That will do their spawning. I just want the blazes to go away because they would float upwards. Anything else drops downward, so I don't really care. Here we go. And boop! With a skeleton! Yay! That should be fine. Let's see if we can get our glass back. Close that off. Not that it's important, because as long as nobody stands up there, they won't try to there fly go. out. Tempered glass. Lovely. And with all the beheading upgrades, we should get um, with our skeleton heads straight away. No problem. There you go. Close off. Lovely. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> ah, old jokes. Wither skeleton heads. That that is an absorption of a not a wither skeleton head. Don't see any. They might still be going down here. For some reason I can't fathom. Yeah, three. Thank you. That's all I wanted. I want this to get voided. Not you. I'll put you somewhere. Yeah, I need to fix this. It's probably because all the heads share the same data at some point, or maybe one of them is the culprit. I removed pretty much all of them except for the chicken head here and the rest is just player heads. So if that stops stuff from coming in that would be cool. But then again there, there is no ignore MBT or metadata in here. Wow, lag. So that shouldn't happen at all. It still does. It might just be the fuzzy card but then again that's technically just for damage. Don't know. Might have to change that system a little bit and re-import stuff. Uh, we need some soul sand. Can we have some soul sand? Do we have some soul sand? We should. Yes, we do. One, two, three, four. That should be more than enough. And then we want to make some of the reinforced obsidian. Yeah, we do have this stuff. I need that block, though. So we need some iron bars. Do we have iron bars? Yeah, but not enough. Let's make more. All of them. And then we can use that on one of these 13 pages. Wow. Makes a lot of stuff. You need iron bars for the hydrogel block? <laughs> so that the water doesn't flow away, or what is that for? No idea. Don't know. Exactly. Okay, so we have some reinforced obsidian, which a wither can't break. Uh, I also need some placing blocks. So that, that's pretty much the only terminal where I can't do that. Um, the dirt would work. We have dirt? We have one dirt block in here. Really? That's glorious! Um, let's make it. Oh, right. Well, that doesn't work here. Uh, that, that, that. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be 
interesting to say the least. How are we going to do this? You know, we, we're going to use the, the old trick with the piston, I think. So that's going to be a piston. Then we need one, two, three spots for the wither skeleton, it's, uh, for, for the wither itself, right? Yeah. And then right on top, we're going to build that platform. Usually you would do this... Wow, the noise. There you go. Usually you would do this uh, in the nether at the ceiling where there's uh, bedrock and just get him stuck in there with a 3x3 area. I can't really do that here. So we're just going to do it this way. Uh, I still need that. Don't need that. Can I have a pea stone, please? Yes, I can. Next question. Do we have a lever in the system? Oh, three. Oh, that never happened before. There. This way, please. Get rid of all of that. That's perfect. Can you please face the right way? That would be awesome. That's centered? Yes. Uh, put this here. Does it work? Of course it does. Then we do this. Should probably get my stuff ready. Um, I will need this. Do you think it's immune to the sniper rifle? Probably is, huh? I don't know. That's what I got in hand. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's meaty damage, right? Oh well. Do this. Do that. Get him stuck in there. And that should do the trick. There she go. Oh, shoot. Oh, he did escape, huh? Well, that's yes. gonna be fun. Oh, he's not immune, though. I should have made that a little bit bigger. I do realize that. Don't look at me like I care. He's dead. With or without you. <laughs> Alright, he's not immune to the sniper rifle. Right? Glad we figured that out. Um, yeah, I might have needed... Can you stop hopping and fly? I might have Much needed a bigger. double layer, or I might have needed to make it a little bit bigger, because that explosion always puts him off to the side for a little bit. Then again, I could have just made a chamber 5x5 five five and be yeah. done with it. But nah. We just needed to do this once. We don't need the wither for the nether stars. So, who cares? Done. Where are we in terms of this page? It's just the compact your world. So, let's get into compact machines then. There you go. Not a big mod. Uh, what we need is this. The miniaturization field projectors. And as you can see, not that bad to make. We need one of these. Should have all of that. I'm saying that a lot, but then again, I don't know. It might just be we don't. We don't have a bog. Okay, I didn't know that. We also don't have leather, it seems. But we should have... Oh, I moved that away. Okay, well, that's... That's, mm, that's not at the very beginning. Okay, sure. That, that, that... So those in there, and do this, give me a book, give me this, we actually need two of them, so we do need another book. We don't f need it for this quest in particular, I believe, unless it says we need to be able to enter um, these compact machines that we make. Alright, that one, uh, thank you, that's the four that we need. So, does it say anything specific? Travel to any size compact machine's dimension, create the dimension using the projector, use the personal shrinking device to enter the dimension. Say, we did need that. Alright, um... Placing blocks. Okay, do we have dirt? I think we do. At least now. Get over here. This might be a little bit in the way, though. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. So what we do is we're going to place the first one, uh, I'd say, right here. And as you can see, the arrow will show you what you're doing. So I'm going to place that one right there. And then I think you can right-click that. There you go. And it tells you where the next one should go. As you can see, we have different sizes. We're just going to go with the smallest one. Because nobody really cares. Which means that this one is going to go here. If I right-click that one, it says, well, over here is the next one. Which should be here. And the other one is right here. 
uh, that way, and uh, that way, and there you go. Miniaturization field established. Now we need a bunch of things. We need to make these compact, uh, tiny compact machine walls. There you go. And that is iron, redstone, and more redstone. So let's get some iron blocks, which we have. Don't need any of this anymore. How come I did have... Yeah, don't question it. And redstone. Um, there. So, these recipes are a little bit weird to follow if you don't have any idea what you're doing. This needs a 1x2x1 one by by one area, so this is, well, one block and another block, the redstone dust on top, so this is one wide, one deep, two high, and makes 16 compact machine walls. This you need to set up inside the field, and then you need to throw this in there. It says it when you hover over it, right? If you hold shift, it gives you the inside view, it's only one block, so there's nothing to see, but this uh, will become a little bit more important in a moment. So you do this and that, and then when you throw it you cannot stand inside the field, otherwise it doesn't register, so you do this. It is a cool animation. Boop. Now if you do the maximum size of this, this animation will take a little bit longer. Not for this recipe, but for the machine that you're going to make. Alright, so let's have a look at the first machine. Tiny compact machine. It's just a 3x3x3 uses 26 compact machine walls, it seems. If you hold shift, you can see that there's a block in the middle that's empty. So you have 9 down here, you have 9 up here, and then 8 surrounding this hole in the middle, and you need an ender pearl to throw it in there to activate it. So can you grab an ender pearl real quick? He's participating. Yep. Participation medal. Meantime, I'm going to set this up. And some of these, when you make them bigger, I mean, the, the biggest one is, what, 9x9? Nine nine, uh, half a block in the middle, like a block of gold, a block of diamond. You need to find the middle and put it there. So you do need a placing block to put that up one and stuff like that. But this is the smallest one you can make. Now, just, you know, cue the ender pearl in there. Then it does things. Lovely. I like the sound. This is a pretty cool mod. I like the whole design around it. Somebody actually went through the trouble of making this a cool animation just to create a pocket dimension. I mean, you could have just made a cake, right? <laughs> yep. It's lovely. So there's our machine. Um, if you right click it, it shows you the inside. There's nothing in there. Uh, we haven't even spawned it in yet because nobody has ever gone in there, so it can't tell you. Uh, but I can do this, right-clicking with the personal shrinking device. As you can see, loads of a dimension. And here we are, inside of a 3x3. Uh, this is actually one of the starting worlds for Sky Factory 4. Yes, you can expand this by completing quests, I believe. I haven't tried it yet. Um, that could be something to try. It's not something you would try with two, three, four people because there's no room as it is. Why would you want any more people in there? Well, that's done. We closed out this complete page, which means we would get another prestige point if we were playing prestige. It's lovely. We also unlocked the Twilight Forest tab. <laughs> oh, that's great. So we have to do the whole Twilight Forest quest line if we want to. I mean, it's part of the advancements. It's not for the hand I mentioned, though. Okay, so that's done. What else? HR farming we can't do yet because all this mulch needs special stuff. And then this is, it looks like one quest, but you see how much is in there. Scott is working tirelessly on that. All right, probably going to close out some of these. So let me prepare some of this stuff because it's crafting that you've seen before. I mean, how to make a, a cast and, you know, that's just crafting an ender pouch. This is crafting the muffling upgrade. We already did the speed and the energy. This, I told you we don't need it. Well, now we need it at least one. Uh, the alloy tank I think we already have somewhere in this uh, in, in the storage. If not, then we just make one and then we play around with the yo-yo for a minute or two. Alright, be right back. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's the four things we made. The ender pouch, the alloy tank, the energy upgrade, and the muffling upgrade. And now just making a paper lumber axe, because why not? We're not going to use it anyway. And the yo-yo. And uh, the yo-yo, for some reason, doesn't want to be crafted with this core. 
That's interesting. It's a cord. Why don't you go in there? All right. See, that's why you just want to finish things. Uh, yo, yo. There is a book which needs materials and you. Okay. Well, I don't think I need that anymore. That should be good. Let's do this. So look on there. Yo-yos and you. Yo-yo materials. Cord. White slime, slime, blue slime, vines. Oh, well, string. I, I use string. How do you make these things? Just really... Maybe in a regular... Uh, crafting table? No. That's not the issue. The issue is actually just, you know, making the string. I just made a string, and um, that string didn't work, so I will have to do it over here in the sensor table. That's just not exactly. I, I might be that I just have to pour it on there. That would be weird, though. Hmm. Well, I might as well try. Where did my stone go? I did have stone on me a second ago. Oh, never when you need it. Okay, it's accepting slime, so let's grab some slime and let's get some stone so we can actually make ourselves a cast. Which is the same way we just make that pickaxe hat that we haven't needed so far for some reason. Alright. Put that in there. No, there. That also doesn't work. It doesn't want to do this. Doesn't want to make a cast. Doesn't want to do this. So it's just the wrong slime ball. That is so weird. Night slime, slime, blue slime, slime vine, magma slime, string and vines. I am using blue slime. Oh, hmm. It has to be these crystals, huh? Well, in that case, let's go grab some vines, because that's easier. Should have some vines. Oh, yes. Let's grab half a stack. Yes, come on, fly! Bastard. There you go. Then we should be able to put that in here. Aha! Yo yo, mate. Number X, mate. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a yo yo attack. Oh, look at that. It takes a while until it comes back. Does this not have durability, or did I just not hit anything yet? It has a durability of two. And five modifiers. You know what I'm going to do with this? Just because I can. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Unbreakable. This has durability of two, but it is unbreakable. It will never break. I can just do this forever in your face. This looks weird. I like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. I have one of those. <laughs> so yeah, turns out when you're making something out of paper, you get a ton of modifiers. That's what paper is good for. You don't have much else, no mining speed, no attack damage, uh, but you can upgrade it to unbreaking straight away. It's not that it's any good, but hey, it's alright. So that means we have this all closed out. Page 2 complete, page 6 complete. So well, next time we're probably going to work on this a little more. And might close out most of this. I mean, this should be all easy to do. Ingot former nuclear craft melder. Those should be easy to make. Not necessarily use, but make. Uh, industrial foregoing froster. We need to get into industrial foregoing because that all needs plastic. And the first two machines make sure that you get plastic. It's the only way to get them in this pack. So, yep, we're going to start that next time. For now, we're signing off. We had fun. It was definitely something after the whole building thing we just did. Whee! <laughs> <laughs>
And we'll see you back next time when it's time to get into industrial for going. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Whee.